up here in just about 10 seconds or so. Again, SES2 is second stage engine start two, and then we will shut down that MVAC engine about a minute and a half later. MVAC ignition. There we heard that call out and you could see on your screen that the MVAC has reignited. Again, this burn will last about 90 seconds and it will be the last burn of stage two before we deploy the payload. As a reminder, the Euclid payload is still attached to the second stage at this point and will be heading to a Sun-Earth Lagrange Point 2 transfer orbit. And that is about one million miles beyond Earth's orbit. Now we should have SECO2 coming up here in a few seconds. That is second stage engine cutoff. Again, will be the conclusion of the second and final burn for this mission. And back shut down. We've just had SECO2. Elemental orbit insertion. There's that call out. We just had SECO2 and confirmation of good orbit. So with successful second engine start and cutoff, we'll join you live to cover payload deployment in about 20 minutes. So we'll see you in a few. We've had a great mission so far, and we have just one more major milestone left in our mission, which is payload deploy. Built and operated by the European Space Agency, or ESA, with contributions from NASA and the Euclid Consortium, the Euclid spacecraft will be operated from European Space Operations Center in Darmstadt, Germany. It will explore dark matter and dark energy, which combined is known to make up 95% of the universe as we know it, and create an unmatched 3D map of the universe with time as the third dimension by observing billions of galaxies across 10 billion years of cosmic time across more than a third of the sky. The deployment is coming up here in just a few seconds. Euclid spacecraft separation confirmed. And there you can see the Euclid payload drifting away from Falcon 9's second stage. With that confirmation, we'll bring today's webcast to a close. Today's mission marked SpaceX, SpaceX's 243rd overall mission to date and 44th mission of this year. We want to thank the European Space Agency for entrusting us with today's mission and all of you for joining us. If you're interested in following the Euclid mission further, tune into youtube.com slash ESA for more. And be on the lookout for the first images from the Euclid telescope later this fall. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon.